What's up, everybody? This is Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial. Continuing our series with the Unity GUI, today we're going to talk about the render texture. Double digit <laughs> render textures. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Unity. In this example scene, I have a couple of render textures happening here, and notice that they're all on a GUI element and they are all interactable objects. So you can still click on each one of these elements and see that it is a button and these buttons actually work. But when we hit play, what we're seeing is something rendered from somewhere else. While there's a lot of things that you can do with this, today we're just gonna learn how we can achieve this. So let's go ahead and clear everything. Okay, so we're gonna start from scratch and all we're gonna do is create a panel and we're just gonna create one button. Let's go ahead and rescale that so we can see it very clearly and let's just go ahead and center it. So as you can see, it's a button. But what we're going to do now is create a 3D object. If we're going to create a cube out in 3D space. Let's go ahead and set it. Its position is 000, so we know how to find it. This is our cube. Now, in another tutorial, we'll cover a couple of coding things. But for now, I already have a rotate script that I created. I'm just going to put it on it and say spin left. So if we were to hit play, it's going to spin. Okay. So let's go ahead and make that spin and let's go ahead and put five on it. Let's create a camera and we're going to move this camera to the cube's location. So all we're going to do is parent it real quick, reset it so that it shows up here. Not a problem. Or we could have just typed in zero, zero, zero in the transform, deparent it. And we're going to come out a little bit. Let's come up so you can see that angle and let's tilt it down so you can see it actually spinning. And then we're going to add uh, to the cube. Let's add a blue. That way we can kind of see it a little bit better. So if we were to go to the camera view again, you can see that it's blue. And when you bring another camera into the scene, let's go ahead and make sure that we uncheck the audio listener so that it doesn't conflict with other cameras in the scene or in fact our main camera. So this camera is not our main camera, it's a secondary camera, okay? So what we're gonna do now is go into our assets folder. We're gonna right click, create, and we're gonna create a render texture. Okay, just call this spinning cube. So once you name that spinning cube, all you're gonna do is click on the camera that we created that's viewing the cube. You're gonna drop the render texture right here inside target texture. And once that's done, then we're gonna go back up here to the button. This is the easy but important part. We have to remove the normal image script. So let's remove component. And then we're gonna come down here and you can see that there's no image here. There's nothing to, to display the button. But what we wanna do is add a component. And that component is going to be, if you come down to UI, raw image. And under raw image, it's going to say texture. And now you're able to actually place the render texture that you created into the texture spot. So now it's displaying what that camera is seeing. So let's hit play. And there you have a button and it is still operational, but it is displaying what something else is seeing. And that is render textures in a nutshell. All right, guys, as always, I hope that this helped you. I hope that you learned something here today. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but maybe it's just a refresher for you. But if you did, great. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.